This tutorial introduces the VMB plugin in OpenDetect. VMB stands for Velocity Model Building, which is a commercial plugin in OpenDetect. With this plugin, it is possible to pick RMO velocities as well as pre-stack events from pre-stack gathers. Picked velocities are used to update the 3D velocity model in PSDM workflows. Picked pre-stack events serve as inputs to a topographic velocity update plugin. In the 3D scene we see a seismic line for the well-known SEG SALT model dataset. The display shows a velocity model at 90% of the actual velocities. Also shown is a pre-stack gather at the location along the line. The gather is flattened with the current velocities. Right-clicking on the gather allows changing the display properties. The green lines make up a predefined grid at which points velocities are to be analyzed. The blue line is the current position for the analysis. Points that have been analyzed will be marked by red lines. VMB supports two analysis modules, the vertical update module and the horizon consistent update module. Both modules are launched from the respective VMB icons. The vertical update module displays the pre-stack gather next to the computed semblance gather at the point of investigation. The current mute is not appropriate, so we first have to re-pick the mute. We apply the new mute by clicking on the apply semblance input icon. Next we pick RMO velocities by picking the bull's eyes in the semblance gather. The three velocity curves shown in the semblance gather are the original migration velocity, the picked RMO velocities and the new migration velocity. To avoid sharp boundaries in the velocity functions we apply a smoothing operator and we check the new velocities by toggling the RMO icon. When satisfied we press the green arrow icon to move to the next analysis position in our predefined grid. In this case we jumped 20 crossline positions on the same inline. The software computed all intermediate semblances and tracked the bullseyes from their starting positions. This is how the upper three bullseyes were found, which only leaves the lower ones for us to track. In a similar way we can pick pre-stack events to feed the tomographic update plugin. Pre-stack events are either auto-tracked on events corresponding to an exceeded semblance threshold starting from the near trace or starting from manually seeded positions. When ready, don't forget to save the picks, mutes and pre-stack events. The Horizon Consistent Update module is typically used for picking velocities on land data. The upper display shows the seismic in the normal structural domain with the picked horizon. The second display shows the seismic flattened on that horizon. Below that we see semblances calculated along the horizon at crit locations along the line. The lowermost display shows the pre-stack gathers at these locations. In this module we only pick RMO velocities, but we do this in a manner that is consistent along the entire horizon. The results are checked by applying the picked velocities through the RMO toggle icon. The actual building of the velocity model is performed in OpenDetect Base. First we have to set up the model. Click on the Setup Velocity Model icon. In this case the model is constructed by first gridding the picked RMO velocities. This is followed by replacing the velocity in the water layer with the water velocity and then replacing the velocities in the salt dome by the salt velocity. Finally a smoothing algorithm is applied. The velocity model can either be created on the fly for visual inspection at any seismic section or it is created in batch mode by launching the create velocity model option under the processing menu. The new model can then be fed to the migration algorithm for the next PSDM iteration. This concludes this tutorial on velocity model building.